humility to me is understanding that everyone has a story and most people's are better than mine. We're all just a big collection of parts and, and stories and experiences. And if we can understand that, I think we can connect and relate um, and engage in a completely different way than if I'm trying to lead by my positional power or my title or my authority. Like sometimes that is necessary, but it's the lowest form of leadership. When we're talking about building the culture, we always start with that inner self work first. What are we doing to build, to structure this culture where students, where staff, where faculty is invited in, included in the decisions, felt like a part of the team versus voluntold? It's just like it is with our students uh, when we're helping colleagues. We just need to see the person behind the title, whether they're a physics teacher, whether they're a third grade teacher, whatever their role is to see the person. And so just like we would with our students, we need to know what motivates them, what affirms them, how do they feel connected to their work and enter there. For us, joy is our first priority that we really believe, like ultimately we want to see all kinds of growth but our growth is going to be limited if we're not the type of place that our people aren't eager to come to. The gravity of education right now isn't necessarily pulling us towards joy. So if we're going to get to a more joyful place, it's something that we're going to have to be very intentional about and and we're going to have to do it on purpose. So the work that we do is really, really tough work. So the team that you have is extremely important. Build the team, nurture the team, and slow down enough to actually look at what you've accomplished. There are students I had this school year that have poured into me and changed who I am or have reminded me of why I do what I do. Even those kids that are your hard kids. I had a kid one year that screaming at me in the hall and I just looked at him and I said, you can yell at me every day. You can scream at me every day. You can despise me every day, but I'm gonna show up and love you every day. I'm gonna love you every day. Even if you don't like me, I'm gonna love you. When you ask a parent, what do they want for their child? Uh, naturally, they all say the same thing. I want my child to be happy. And you know, when we think about happiness and well-being and satisfaction in the world, so much of that is linked to what you will do with your time in the future. 